When you drive, you need to be cautious and always alert. You can always meet with an accident not just because of your mistakes, but because of others' carelessness too. This is one reason why cops are always on the loop, running around to make sure people abide by the traffic rules. This guy here was driving around with his girlfriend when suddenly a police officer pulled them over. He asked the guy to get out of his car. It turned out to be for something totally unexpected that left the girlfriend in tears. So when the driver got pulled over by a cop, the girlfriend reacted in a way that any partner would. She could feel her heart pounding heavily. She felt helpless and was struggling to come up with ways to rescue her boyfriend, who was interrogated by the officer. She saw from a distance her lover being handcuffed and made to kneel. She could not come to terms that this was actually happening to them right now. And it was especially puzzling for the poor girl because this was totally unexpected. She and her boyfriend were so far, as she could recall, not behaving in such a way that would leave him handcuffed. They were abiding by the traffic laws so to see him that way made her quite lost. But she certainly did not wish to be handcuffed like him. Then while she was panicking on the side, she was given a question that would change her life. This incident was not new to the couple who had been dating for quite a while now. It turned out that this was not the first time Sam Watson had witnessed her partner, Austin Erhan, get pulled. There had been several times that he had been questioned by the cops. He was actually quite familiar with this routine, and so for him, it might not have been that devastating. But for Sam, it was still a scary sight. So her boyfriend Austin was actually a lover of speed and racing. He absolutely adored motorcycles and fast cars. He loved the thrill that a fast vehicle brought to his senses. Austin loved to ride them and the faster they were the better for him. Since he was just a young boy, he had always been hard worked because he wanted to get his dream vehicle. And the effort he had placed on doing so paid off later. Ever since he was a kid, Austin had always been fascinated with cars and bikes. So he decided to make a living out of this. He was actually able to put his passion for the motor world into good use, as he flips used cars for a good profit. He did an excellent job at doing his work, so it obviously paid quite well. He had his eyes on buying a Honda motorcycle for a long time. Austin worked on many cars and was brilliant at fixing them and giving them an enhancement. So he could save up a lot because he had quite a few clients. He had saved enough to be able to buy a black 2006 Corvette, and so he finally became a proud owner of one. His pride and joy lay on this beautiful car that he recently bought. He was lucky because he could rejoice with his lovely girlfriend too. The two lovers had been going out for a long while now. In fact, Sam and Austin had been in a relationship for about seven years now. She was actually a fellow enthusiast of cars and motorbikes. She could even handle a six-speed sports car like no other girl he knew, so she was very special to him. He felt truly blessed to have found a girl who shared his passion. And this was not all. Sam was actually one with brains because she held a job as an emergency room nurse too. Even though she was working an undoubtedly stressful environment, she always came home with a smile and a kept a very positive mindset. He knew for a fact that this girl was irreplaceable, that she was one of a kind. He knew for sure that he would never find anyone like her ever again. And even though Austin love for cars gave him a good source of income, it also served as his biggest weakness too. Since he owns a Corvette now, the urge to put the pedal to the metal and ride around was something that he had to fight constantly. For him, this was the most wonderful feeling in the world so it was especially hard. He would get into trouble a lot of times too. Since he loved to speed up and ride around and rev his car, it would occasionally cost him speeding tickets. I try not to break the speed limit, but it happens Austin later revealed in an interview, stating that his intention was never to break the rules. Since his love for cars and speeding was getting a little out of hand, even his relationship was starting to get strained. After owning a Corvette, Austin's driving was getting a little out of control. There was a time when he was given 20 speeding tickets by the cops. Sam knew about this very well because she would be in the passenger seat right next to him when these traffic stops had to be made. She was well aware of the love Austin had for speed and that he was an excellent driver. She still worried nonetheless. And since they had been dating for almost years now, the two had always wanted to take the next step in their relationship. They were confident that they needed to build a future together, but she knew that this was a red flag that became more and more troublesome. What if Austin had to give up his license because of his reckless driving? 
One day, a similar incident left them in a life-altering situation. Austin and Sam had been driving in their car from their hometown back in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, to drop a visit to Austin's grandfather, who lived all the way in Scott City. Since it was not a long drive, they were not in a hurry. Hence, the two make sure not to drive past the speed limit. But then Austin had to change the lanes, forgetting to turn his blinkers on. And when he did this, there was a cop that had taken notice of what he forgot to do. And before they could do anything, there were siren lights that had already tailed them, and a patrol car was signaling them, so Austin had no choice but to pull over. Are you kidding me? Sam had freaked out. We didn't even speed for once. And things were not going according to their favor. So Austin parked his car in the nearby parking lot, after the patrol car had signaled them. Then the cops parked right behind them. So Austin and Sam did not know what to expect when this happened. Were they going to be approached by a nice officer or a total prick? An officer came out of his vehicle and approached the couple. Then he requested Austin to hand him his documentation, and informed him that he did not use his blinkers in the last lane. Then the cop that pulled them over also added one more thing. He told the couple that he had received a report about a black Corvette that had driven over the speed limit. Sam could not believe what she was hearing because they were actually careful and mindful this time. She was sure that they were not in a hurry and driving fast. But there was something that took place after this. The officer then ordered Austin to step out from his Corvette. Austin agreed and headed towards the rear of the car where the officers had parked. This was not all, they even asked his girlfriend Sam to step out the car too. This was certainly something new for a traffic stop and had never taken place before. She did not hesitate and then watched as the officer patted Austin down. This incident was getting weirder by the minute. Sam was so confused because this was not the usual procedure when getting pulled over. Have you ever heard of the one in the passenger's seat being asked to get out of the car too? Then as she watched, she saw that the officer pulled an item from Austin's pocket, exclaiming, that's what I thought. She could not tell what it was but was no doubt worried. All that Sam could see was that her boyfriend was made to kneel down on the ground. You're going to do life for this the officer then said to Austin, who had dropped down to his knees. He was also made to keep his hands behind his back. The officer did not stop there, he had Austin handcuffed as well. Sam was getting worried with each second passing, what was going on. And then as Sam was watching her boyfriend being handled this way by the officer, she could not help or do anything. She was puzzled and felt that this was unfair for the person she loved so much. The cop then told her to stand in front of Austin. He went back to patrol car to grab hold of his evidence camera. She was a little hesitant but could not say no, so she did as was told. Sam was as confused as ever. Standing right there, in front of a kneeling Austin. She was looking back at forth her boyfriend and the officer with bewildered eyes. Then when she least expected, she saw Austin grab something out from the hands he kept on his backside. He actually took out a ring. She gasped and gave out a loud shriek. She then kept her hand on her mouth. Then Austin quickly asked her, will you marry me? She replied to him with a very quick and emotional yes. Then she reached out her arms to kiss him as Austin got back on his feet from his kneeling position. And then the officer, who had been filming everything that took place, gave out a loud laugh. This had actually been planned and they were actually a prank. After embracing each other for a few minutes, Austin had a question for his lovely new fiance. Were you scared? Austin questioned Sam. The two of them still continued to hug and was not letting go of one another. She nodded and the couple laughed out. Then Austin looked towards the camera and had something to say. Thank you very much he blurted out, grinning. And after he knew that the proposal was a success, he could not reveal everything to his girlfriend now turned fiancé. We really appreciate everything you've done. Thank you, Scott County Sheriff's Department. Everybody, thank you so much he exclaimed. Once the excitement mellowed down, Austin's girlfriend was able to learn about what had actually taken place. For a couple to have been through so much, it was destined for the couple to do something about their relationship. The topic of marriage had already been mentioned a few times before, but it had never actually escalated to a proposal. Since Austin knew that Sam was a special girl, he knew she deserved something extra special if he were to give her a marriage proposal. She had in fact expected a special proposal from her boyfriend, as she knew he would be able to pull off something wonderful. I don't want it to be cliché, I don't want it to be something I've seen a hundred times, and just please make sure it's on camera she had even told him when they talked about marrying. So Austin had to be very creative to not give his lovely girl a run-off-the-mill marriage proposal. 
since Austin had a history of getting speeding tickets and that he had a few of these on his record, he knew Sam was getting worried. She had always been worried about all the speeding tickets he had received in all the years of being together. So the speed lover wanted to use this to his advantage and send her on an emotional rollercoaster. His sister was actually a friend of Detective Barry Morgan of the Scott County Sheriff's Department. So he knew that he wanted to incorporate his speeding history in order to give Sam something to worry about. Hence he requested both his sister and her detective friend to help in coming up with a foolproof plan for a surprise special proposal. So this plan had been in motion for quite some time now, and the way it ended was something better than what Austin had expected. Everything paid off in the end. And just like Austin wanted, Sam was blindsided by the way she got her marriage proposal. She did not expect him to ask her to marry him during a time like that, since she was unaware of the plans he had made. I was like what? What is this? What's going on? And then it all made sense at the end she revealed in an interview later. She also could not believe that his plan actually worked. And so Sam to receive a proposal in a way she did not expect at all was what she had requested her longtime boyfriend Austin. And to say she got what she wanted would be an understatement. Just listen to what she had to say regarding the proposal she got in the midst of a fake arrest, I was very impressed with him that he went through all this. It's something I can't describe. It's so many emotions in one. Be sure to pick a favorite place. Whether it's a fountain, hotel terrace, a special monument or national park. You must, however, make sure that this place has a meaning to the two of you as a couple. And when you're there, ask someone who is nearby to snap a photo of you together. Then when she least expects it, drop down on one knee instead of posing. One thing that is really effective when talking about proposals is music. If you make use of a choir, a brass band or even a drum line for a beautiful surprise performance for your dear fiancé to be, we guarantee you that it will elevate the emotions. Tell them to play her favorite love song in a park or public location during your proposal to secure a definite yes. Also, make sure you ask them to add her name while they are performing. If you and your lover are a huge theater or drama fan, then why not make use of this as a means to propose? Just try and grab hold of the stage manager of your favorite production, and then propose to your partner right after the cast's curtain call. You can even request them to keep a special note or ad placement added to the playbill, to give your proposal that extra edge. Another very good idea for a proposal would be to arrange a proposal with the help of a street caricaturist. Just ask the caricaturist to sketch a picture of you and your partner. Make sure the sketch has the two of you with word bubbles, will you marry me? And yes, this is a cute and fun way to commemorate the day you and your lover have decided to marry. Ask the divers that work at an aquarium to put on a show for you for an extravagant proposal. Request them to do this in their biggest fish tank, so that you and your partner can have a memorable proposal. Then ask them to hold out a sign with the words, will you marry me? To the glass. Then drop down on one knee and pop the ring out. It would certainly be a special proposal, don't you agree?